This is obnoxious. Like, this is not a thing that I like. This is like Elmer's glued on here. This is atrocious. Since peeling stuff is universally satisfying, this video had to be me. book people. I'm going to share with you a book habit of mine. This is not a reading habit. This is like a care and keeping of books thing that I always do when I've got a new book from a previous owner, aka a library, that tries to protect them with a plastic covering. You'll see what I mean in a minute if you don't already have just a brutally sad mental image of the plastic wrapping that people slap on dust jackets on books. And I didn't know if this would be interesting to people, but I do it a lot, so I thought that I'd make a quick video and show it. What am I doing, you ask? I'm not unboxing books, you might say. I'm unwrapping them. Yesterday, I did a library book sale book haul. You know, like, library books have these awful, crinkly plastic covers? Like, they keep the dust jackets on? I have some thoughts about these. As I'm sure they do for some of you, these drive me absolutely just crazy. So if I am reading a book with a dust jacket, I typically take the dust jacket off because I like them and I don't want to ruin them. With library books, you can't take these off. This is the worst type of book jacket. It's a dust jacket that's wrapped in this crinkly, disgusting cellophane and taped to the book. Ah! These are the worst. These are absolute worst. One thing I will say, Back in the day, at least I know for a lot of university libraries, and they still kind of do, mine still does, they would get a new book and they would instantly send it to a bindery and just get like a um, kind of a gross cover put on it. For example, this little tiny green book. So this is Idea Art by Jeffrey Badcock, and this is like a paperback version. If you were to get this book in real life, it would not have this green canvas hard cover. I forgot to say this, it's called Buckram. They do this with, you know, all books. So here's another one, a book that I'm about to finish today. This is a paperback book. As you can see, the inside, like the actual penguin paper cover is in this cover, but they've sent it to the bindery and had this like library proof disguise. It's like a, it's like a cast for books. How boring is that? Working at a library, I like feel more passionate about this. The plus side to this is that you get to keep the diversity of the bookshelf. It'll just look nice. It's colorful. You see all the books designed. The payoff is when you read, this is weird. Whereas, this is less weird to hold in your hand. I got a bunch of library books yesterday, and before I do the haul video and before I start reading them, I was taking off these covers, and this is like not an easy process. And while it feels liberating, I've got to also say I feel a little bad. I know that from a librarian's point of view, the importance of having these covers, but from a reader's point of view, I loathe them. I also feel bad because one of my friends and co-workers is the girl that applies these these like plastic bandages to books. And every time I like gleefully snip it off, I just think of her sitting there all day, every day, like carefully measuring the plastic and wrapping it in a tape. Today, we're undoing all of that hard work. And I thought that I would show you this process. So this is how I'm going about it. If you ever get a used book that's got a cover or you just want to like, don't obviously do this on like, library books that are still in circulation at libraries, but library book sales aren't all that uncommon. You're gonna want to take off the cover. More power to you. Take off that cover. Then it makes me feel like the book is brand new. So I just took the cover off of this book and now I have a brand new hardcover book, brand new, with like a completely unsullied book jacket. Here's a question that I have, librarians of the world. If you're going to put these atrocious plastic covers on your book, why don't you put the stickers on the plastic cover? Isn't the idea of the like the plastic wrap to protect the dust jacket so it's like totally nice? That is not totally nice. I have so many books that have call numbers on them. I just, these stickers are very conspicuous. So I know that there's a girl that sits there and wraps these books in plastic and she's very careful and so I can appreciate like other people's handiwork now that I do this. They have taken off the book jacket. They've taken these 
and laid these on top of a large sheet of plastic and then wrapped this like a present, okay? And then once the the book jacket is like pseudo laminated, they stick it back on the book and then they tape it to the book. I don't know how to best get this in the shot for you all. So what I've been doing is opening it and doing like a little slice along the top, which I've kind of already done and getting it and doing that again on the bottom so that then there's kind of like a hold here and I'm trying to peel it off around the book in one piece. This is like the worst version of peeling an apple because you know you always want to peel your apple long coil and that like no, it's, it's like that's scientifically impossible. Okay this is what I found. You can largely get the cover off in one fell swoop like that. At this point, there's like random flaps with the plastic still around. It's easier to take off the dust jacket because once the dust jacket is off the book, the plastic will fall loose. Here, they wrapped this book in paper first. I feel like Donkey and Shrek doing his cake has layers on along. Like, library books have layers. There's like a lot of weird library dust. Like, that was unsettling. Never had a, a jacket like this okay so the jacket has no tape on it most of the time like they've taped the plastic to the jacket so then it's like trying to peel off the barcode it's like okay I'm gonna rip the dust jacket and the actual book because they are taped to the book so this is very odd they've glued this I also do paper conservation and I feel like this is just generally bad practice why did I would like to have like a personal heart-to-heart -heart with the librarian that covered this book and be like, girl, why did you add an unnecessary middleman to this process, this piece of white paper? So now, as you can see, since we've ripped off the main plastic, separated it from the bus the dust jacket and taken the dust jacket totally off, if you hold up your book, at this point you're just going to have one piece left. It's going to be over here. Oh, this feels so nice. So now we have a really clean fabric hardbound book. I'm just gonna slide this paper thing right back on the book. And it's as if I bought this book brand new at Barnes & Noble. This is the life. A plasticless hardcover book with a dust jacket. This is how I am spending my Sunday afternoon unwrapping books. I've got one left in the great book unwrapping. But since that was like a complicated process, I probably, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to do it. To recap, this one is different. This is how they've all been. There's been like this special library tape. It's almost like a gauzy medical tape. So I'm going to just slice the tape and the, um, the plastic, like I said. So I made one cut here. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Now that we've sliced it here, ideally the whole thing would wrap off in one piece. Typically, like I said, since they're wrapped around the dust jacket, they are adhered to the book in two places. Inside this flap right here on the top is tape and it goes around on the inside. So that means there's plastic on the between the paper and the hardcover book. When you rip the front off, it's gonna leave these little pieces that are stuck on the inside. This reminds me of opening CDs. Do you, I guess maybe people still buy CDs, but you know, there's always like the, um, the security sticker across the top that has the band's name on it. And that was always the hardest part of opening a CD from its case for the first time. So once you get all the way to the back, you're gonna have to snip the tape again. Snip the tape along the plastic that's loose. And here you've taken off the front of the wrapping. Now you're going to want to take off the paper jacket, but like I said, it's taped on the inside. So you see, you can't just lift it. It's like taped behind. So try, I've been trying to peel that off without ripping the inside of the dust jacket, but if it does rip, it's okay because no one's going to see that. And then they also do it on the inside of the cover. Oh man, see that's what happens. Oh, this book is gorgeous. It's got gold lettering on it. Same with the back. Dust jacket's off. Now all that's left is a book with these weird flaps. And this is the last tricky part. 
The library tape is still there. You no longer need to cut things off. You just need to carefully peel library tape. It ripped the cover a little bit, but considering I paid 50 cents for this book and the dust jacket is mostly like flawlessly clean, I'm not going to be too concerned about this. Ta da! Presto Changeo, a new book. So this one was exactly how all the other covers were as far as like getting the plastic off and this one was weird because it had that inside paper which I don't know what purpose that was serving that was just a hassle I don't know if this was interesting to anyone but me but I know that me and a lot of my friends do library book sale hauls and then trying to figure out like the safest most efficient way to take the plastic off without hurting the book so hopefully that will help all right I'm gonna go record this haul look for it soon and I'll see you on the flippity flip